I'm going to show you uh, a dramatization of when I went back, uh, when I went to Xerox Park. It's a dramatization. The guy's better looking than me. The guy who plays Waz, the act, is certainly better looking than him. But take a look at this and see if you can notice when I go, whoa, wow, hmm, yes. And it's when I went back and discovered something called the graphical user interface, which was the mouse and icons. And why that meant a lot to me is because if you know anything about my history, I started at Atari. And Atari was bringing video games into people's homes. It forever ruined family relationships because it addicted children to adrenaline. And that's why there will always be a video game industry, and that's why every video game will try to out-excite the next one. And what he's about to see at Xerox Park will change everything. Let me try. We saw screens with windows that came up. A window looked like one program running and another window with another program. And we didn't understand everything they had and the importance of it, but the visual appearance was so drastic. My comment to Steve was, once you have that, you'll never go back. You, you knew that once you had this machine, you'd want it forever. But what Xerox sees as an experiment Steve Jobs sees as an opportunity. Xerox, being a big company, couldn't quite figure out, how do we make this into a personal computer? And Steve kept saying, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. They're blowing it at Xerox. We know how to do this. Jobs takes the idea of a graphical user interface from Xerox and creates a team to incorporate it into a new computer called the Macintosh.